Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a week or so since I've posted a video. So in this video we're going to just take a look at what I've been painting, uh, personal projects and commission projects. Alright guys, let's go and have a look. Right guys, so yeah, so as promised, let's take a look at what I've been up to. So I have a, I'm dipping my hand in a heresy, Horace Heresy, uh, with the iron hands. Uh, getting a lot of help from a lot of people, you know, where to go and what to do and stuff like that. I've chose, I am denied, don't want to do Raven Guard, uh, but nah, I've chose Iron Hands, just because I like the mechanical side of it. So this is like a, just a test piece um, for like the infantry. So this is the squad leader, so uh, 20 man tax squad I've got. And this is the squad leader. Not finished yet. It's just this was just an exercise of how to get uh, a metallic-y looking black, if you can have such a thing, um, done quick. So basically, sprayed a black, uh, just my old um, boy superstar. I think it's called Auto Tech Matte Spray, four quid. If anyone's interested, excuse me. Uh, sprayed over, dry brushed with uh, lead belcher, and then two heavy washers. Well, not really heavy, but just two washers of null and oil. Uh, obviously, wait for the first one to dry, then reapply it again. And this is how it's come out. Um, still got to do the details. So, my colour of choice, like a little spot colour, so for the lenses and stuff, I'm going to be doing uh, purple, just so they stand out, I think. I was on an iron with green and like a luminous green and stuff, but purple kind of works. Still need to do the bases, obviously, like a muddy battlefield base. Uh, I might get some like effects on, on these swords. Um, gun casing as well, I'm going to paint like a, a white or an off grey, something like that. But yeah, so that's them. I've got five of them painted up to this standard. So obviously, it's a 20-man tag squad, so I've got 15 left. So there's that. Um... So yeah, like I say, I dry brushed that, but I did play about with like another technique of uh, doing like the battle damage, and this was the just a, a really sloppy test piece just to see how everything would look, and I went with the well practice with like the chipping technique of you know um, almost like an edge highlight, um, and it, I don't like it, so this is this one's gonna get redone again, uh, basically just dry brushed up to look like everyone else. So there's that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, other projects that are my own. You might have seen this guy on um, a few Facebook sites. My own Facebook site, Underdog Payton Hobby Hangouts. Uh, I'll leave uh, a link in the description below. Go join be a member on Facebook. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking it. So for this army as well, it's, it's going to be a slow army for me. Uh, probably behind the scenes and I'll do like a little update video on them every now and again but yeah it's going to be did I say slow I meant a, a small sorry I meant a small army as in it's just going to have a squad of everything basically instead of like multiple squads of everything just because they are they are very time consuming now I know loads of people say paint the gold first then do the blue so that's what I've done for the first Five. I'm painting the gold first and then doing the blue just to see how it differs because in the next five I'm going to paint the blue and then do the gold last just to see which one is actually faster because for me I've got a funny feeling it's going to be the blue first and then just do the gold I know how everyone says the gold's dead intricate but that's just that's fine <laughs> I'm sure I can paint gold quite quick uh, but yeah there you go. So if you go closer as well, it's got green eyes, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, yeah, quite liking it. Obviously, all the uh, the paints I used uh, were for were are for the Thousand Suns. So Thousand Suns blue, then Araman blue, like edge highlight. Um, so this isn't really a, a clean scheme for them as well. You'd think like Thousand Suns were a, a clean looking paint scheme, but this isn't clean in the slightest because I've literally painted the uh, Thousand Suns blue, washed it, just tidied up the wash here and there. I haven't gone back over with Thousand Suns blue, which you could do really. And I suppose you can tell just on the uh, shoulder pad bit here. Like obviously, if I 
went back over there that'll look a lot smoother but i quite like the the griminess of models at the moment instead of the, the cleaner scheme so yeah so there's the uh my sorcerer for the uh the group as you can see in his staff it's glowy little glowy effect there uh for eos does everyone remember this guy this is the five pound magazine or well, the five pound model that you get in the in the magazine basically um painted up quite like it how, how it's come out um this basically is just the uh oh, get the focus is the male version of this one um still need to paint up but i like this model a lot lot better it's more dynamic and and, and stuff like that but i'll still paint this up but yeah i'll probably use this one in the army literally because it looks cool <laughs> so there you go and then i'll do a showcase soon as well of my stormcast so far i think i've only got to paint the uh quite a big project but i've only got to paint this guy up now you know even looking at you there you go this guy which will be pretty fun and i think i'll do this Griff Hound, is it not? Griff Charger, or whatever it's called. I don't know what it is. Uh, like a blue. I might do it blue. So there we go. There's that. So, for commission work, what have I been up to? Well, I've got a... I'm, I've been, I've been, I'm really busy with commissions at the moment, and I'm very, very grateful. Uh, two Tyranid commissions on the go at the moment. Um, and... You know, I'm loving it. So, the one that I got from Leaky Cheese, um, when you've seen the models and stuff that I showed you in the last video, I painted one up just as a test, just to see how the paints would go, where I want the paints to go and stuff like that. So, there we go. That is uh, the colour scheme for the Tyranids. And I'm really, really liking it. So, colours used were... Warp Fiend Grey, I think it is, or Slanesh Grey, no, I think, Warp, yeah, Warp Fiend Grey, McCrag Blue for the blue bits, Screamer Pink for the pink fleshy spongy bits, and then just like a bone colour, obviously for the bones. And then dry brushed up with uh, like a lighter blue, and then Temple Guard Blue, and that just gives it obviously that nice little pop. I think works really, really well. So yeah. So there's that guy there. Right, guys. Yeah. Thank you for watching this little update video of what I have been up to. Um, if you like what you see, go subscribe. Go hit that bell button. Go comment down below. Um, steady comments will do. <laughs> I like talking to you guys. Uh, and don't forget, yeah, go to Facebook, go join the uh, Underdog Painting Hobby Hangout. I'll leave a link in the description below. Become a member, you know, all that gubbins. And I'll see you all later. Have a good one. Ta -da.